how do you do? My name's Thomas. Although Thomas. my oh you Okay, we don't want to do any battles, but I do want to play a game, but not the battle game. Is that okay? Um whatever you like to do, Thomas, I'm all oh, where are you where are you from? You don't sound local to the UK. I'm from Los Angeles, but I do live uh, in London. Oh wow, I love the Los Angeles accent. I could just listen to that all night long, to be fair. But the good news for you. Rose, uh, Reese, is it Reese Buttercup? Is that yeah? Reese. Reese, yes, yeah. Reese. I do. I play a game called Play a Card, right? Which is played on these cards, and it's a quick game of higher or lower. It's really simple. If you get ten cards in a row correct, then you win a free video shout out to my few thousand followers. How does that sound? Um, you know, I'm gonna go with the flow. So thank I you. I like this. I like you already, Reese. You're definitely going to go with the flow. So look, it's fairly simple. Aces are low, kings are high, and if you get two cards the same right after each other, you get knocked out straight away. You get nothing for a pair, not in this game, but I'll talk you through it and watch out for any visual clues. I might say something or do something that gives you a bit of an idea of what the next card might be. Okay, you ready? Here's your first card, Reese. Oh, it's a king. What a great card to start with. Ooh. I have no idea what the cards are. The oh, it's gone off. Hang on a second. Hang on. The universe is picking the cards for you. Okay, that's how it's going to work. Okay, so here we go. What do you think the next card's going to be, Reese? A uh, higher or lower than a king? King is the highest card, yeah. Yeah, so it has to be lower. Lower. Oh no, it's gonna... Louise wants to join. I don't know. Uh, lower than a king. It is a four. Get him. Well done, Reese. You're on your way. Higher or lower than a four for the next one? Um, I'd say higher. Higher than a four. Oh, wowza, another king. Get in, two kings in one go. Don't see that. Higher or lower than a king? Lower. Lower than a king. The only card that can knock you out is another king. One's gone already. Will it be another king? No, it won't. It's a seven. Okay, higher or lower than a seven, Reese. I'll go for lower. Sorry? I'll go for lower. Sorry? Oh, I've got an itch. <laughs> okay, I'll go for higher. <laughs> oh, higher. Higher than, higher than a seven? Oh, well done. I don't know what made you think that, Reese. to be fair, but higher than a seven. I did tell you to watch out for those visual clues. Okay, you ready? Okay. Right, you've got five so far. You've got five more to go. Well done. Higher or lower than a 10? There might not be any more visual clues, but I don't know how this game's going to go, to be fair. Okay, I guess I'll go higher. Higher than a... That is a... Like, let me just tell you here. So, it's a 10. So, you've got ace. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards lower. And then you've got 10, jack, queen, king. Oh, you've only got three cards up. Four. But you've said higher. I've got to accept your answer. I've got to accept your answer. It's a very risky one, though, Reese. Very risky. But you know what? You look like a risky person. Okay, you ready? It is. It's high again. How did you know that? Reese, how did you figure that out? Wow. Are you psychic? Not at all. Can you can you see those cards? I wonder if you can see the cards. Now. Okay, okay. The next one. Higher or lower than a queen? A queen for a queen. That's what I did there. Ah, so I would normally go lower, but if I could roll a king or a queen, is that correct? No, a queen will knock you out. It's um, only a king that will be high. It's only one card, and you've already had two of them already. So you've had two, so there's only two left in the pack. So the odds are that you should be going lower. Okay, I'll go for lower. So Reese is going lower. I would have gone higher to be fair, just to root, just to risk it. But here we go. You ready? It is a seven. Well done, Reese. Well done, well done, well done. It is lower. So the next one, higher or lower? Right. Let me just do something. I need to. Can you see me? Okay. I see you just fine. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, my my laptop is doing an update, so I've got no light on my face, which is um, good for some people, really. To be fair. Uh, okay. So higher or lower than a five? Mm. Higher. Higher. Oh, get in. Whoa, Reese, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. You get two more right, you win that free video shout out and do it on this live while we're chatting away. 
Okay. Very okay. salt. Very salt. Have you seen? Have you seen that that drink called Prime? You know the one that KSI does, and then yeah, my video shout outs are as rare as finding a bottle of that Prime. So there we go. Okay, so wow. higher or okay. lower I than a six? You, so I have to look at your videos because apparently you're a hot commodity. So um, <laughs> higher or lower than a six? Um, from what you're saying there's more probability to go higher. Is that correct? Yeah, but the universe is on your side. So you might want to choose to go lower. I see. Yeah, I will go for the lower. Because the universe is on your side today, Reese, to be fair. So lower than a six is, it's an ace. Look at oh, that. Aces see. are low as well. So you've got one more card to get, Reese, and then wow. I will be doing your video shout out for you. If you wow. win, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it right. The only card that can knock you out is an ace. Uh, so you're gonna go. You've got to go higher, really, haven't you? To right. be fair. Yeah. So what are you gonna do, Reese? Definitely higher. And if it's not <gasps> higher, then I call this a rig. Can you call it a what? I said if it's not higher, I call it a rig. A rig. Oh, rig. Oh, like a rigged game. I see what you did there. Okay, higher than an ace. It is. It's an Yay! eight. Get in, Reese. So, look, everyone. Reese go, go, underscore go. Buttercup has won my play your card. Right, she's got 10 cards in a row, correct? If you'd like to play, make sure you tune into my live Monday to Thursday, about 8 o'clock. Depends what, what time my little boy's gone to bed. But I'll come up here and I'll do the game. But if you want to follow Reese underscore Buttercup, then her name will be tagged in this video and you can give her a quick follow. But well done, Reese. You got ten in a row correct. Thank you. That was right, Reese. Look, I'm going to give you a follow. Tell me what you tell me what you're trying to what what are you doing in the UK anyway? Why are you over in this country? Um, I'm an international lawyer, so. Uh... You know what? An international lawyer. Yes. Oh hello. I feel like I have to be on my best behaviour now. You said. That. <laughs> well, you were, so there we go. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 do you internationally law? What what is it you you specialise in? Yes, I specialize in mediation and arbitration. Mediate uh, what to do with individuals or big companies? Um, I do between countries. So, um, Me hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You mediate between countries. Yes. So, hang on. I'm going to just throw it out there because we're in that situation now. So, if Ukraine and Russia needed a mediation lawyer, they would call you to go mediate between them. Is that right? It works something like that. Wow, so what a job, what an amazing job that is. Do you have to travel all around the world? Uh, yeah, so I will be in Rome next month, so yeah. Wait, you know what they say, don't you? When in Rome. When in Rome. <laughs> when in Rome. in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not looking for love, are you? Um, I'm not looking for it, but I feel like I am love and I attract love, so tons of people coming my way friends wow that, you know, it, it, the, you, the universe will provide the universe will provide so look how, can i ask how old you are i'm 31 you definitely are not 31 years old yes indeed no way and what and okay let me i'm gonna ask you a question and it's a really for americans this is either you, you know the Marmites, you know Marmite, you either love it or you hate it, or you either like oh, it or you Marmite. don't like it, yeah? Yeah, so I'm going to ask you a question, forget the Marmite, it's just about about the opinion. So I posted a video today because there's been obviously a um, another shooting in America, in California, uh, with the Asian guy that shot 10 people. So I put a video on and I get a little bit of hate, but I do it for engagement anyway, uh, but I do it about gun laws. So what, what, and you don't have to answer, I don't mind if you, if you don't want to answer, but what are your opinions on gun laws in America? Yeah, so I actually made a video on gun laws. Oh, so okay. So it's, it's in um, one of my uh, videos. Uh, I'll be looking at that later. Yeah, and so my opinion on it is this. So, you know, going back to the logic. So, like, what yeah. is the purpose? What, why do people carry guns? Guns are meant to what? Protect. Kill. Kill. There we go. So if guns yeah. are meant to kill, any person who is shooting another has the intent to kill. Right? 
So when you when you put this in a realistic scenario, you give yeah. people guns, you give them the right to kill. So what Absolutely. do we expect? We expect people to die by the gun. Yeah. So I think that there's a misnotion of logic connecting. Oh, nice. I can see that. That's, that's the logic connecting it is missing. Because people yeah. think, I have a gun to protect myself. No, you have a gun to kill people. Gun is it's going to kill. It's not going to. Absolutely. Yeah. It's going to kill somebody. So I think that knowing that logic and then also with, um, for me, I talk about school shooters. So the majority of school shooters are minors. So yeah, absolutely. Us, and when the kids bring the gun to school, they're doing it with the correct intent. They're mm, not doing to it kill. Without, yes, to kill. Didn't so you just did, wasn't there just one a little while ago where there was a six year old boy that brought the gun to school and shot the teacher, and yeah. that and and that had to be out of intent because why would the the child knew that he did it? It didn't shoot anybody else. The child just shot the teacher because the teacher had told him off or something. You think a six year old? I mean, surely at some point you've got to realise that that there's something not right with that whole process, you know. Uh, and how's a six-year-old getting a gun anyway? Where's that? Yeah. Where's the parents? You know, a part of what you said. People use guns to protect, right? So with this logic, the child is protecting himself against that teacher, against what yeah. what the teacher made him feel, right? And so the logic is: if you ask anyone who's a gun owner, you say, "When would you use your gun?" Oh, if someone came in my house and they were going to steal my steal your what? Most people have credit cards. Steal your yeah. what? Um, yeah. If they're going to go for my wallet, if they're going to go for something, I would kill. So you would kill them instead of letting them take the item and then letting the law handle it. But yeah. you don't want to take the law in your own hands. So you want to be the judge and the jury here by killing yeah. someone, ending their life. You are saying, I'm the judge, I'm the jury, and this person needs to die as of right now. Yeah, I, I, I get, I, I get, I get the fact, I get the fact, even in the UK, I get the fact that if somebody enters your home, you have a right to protect your property. But in the UK, it's you have a right to defend yourself or defend your property up to a point. And that point is really blurred and really vague. And, and you wouldn't know as I, I'll give you an example that there's a TikTok and a video at the moment is going around where a, a man that protected his prep. And this is this I don't agree with. Uh, I agree with what he did. I don't agree with the outcome. Uh, he protected his premises and two two, bo two lads broke into his property. Uh, he did get a knife from the kitchen uh, and he ran at, He ran after them. I don't know what happened after. I think he must have stabbed one of them afterwards in the street or whatever, you know, which, again, they've left the property at that point. So there's there's a threshold of, of what you can and can't do. But even if he stabbed them in the house, it, unless I think unless you're under, under the threat of immediate attack or or you know you you're trying to self it's self defense then that might be a different story but uh, yeah. i think it's really blurred but i think a gun i think a gun is a lot more you know it's like you know what the you know what the outcome's going to be if you point that at somebody you shoot it i mean it's mad isn't it I, I don't i don't get but obviously everyone goes on about the constitution and it's in the constitution it's there about the right to bear arms because we can overthrow the government if we're not happy with what the government's doing. And I, I sort of understand that process as well. But you have a, we've moved on since the Constitution was written. And we've moved on, you know, you, America's 200 years old, more than that now, I think. But, uh, you know, obviously you've come a long way um, in, in what, what, the, what was in the past. But some people just seem to want to live in, in that past bit rather than moving forward. Um, yeah, and so I talk about that, the Constitution. And I talk about the Constitution was written by white men, but the particular white men, white men mm. who, 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 who were in favor of, uh, you know, racial inequality, essentially, and, uh, and not in favor of women's rights. So, yeah. but realizing the Constitution was written by men who would not want to see a lot of the people who are the oppressed in society here today. So in analyzing this whole constitution, I think the overall idea is that, you know, there needs to be a, a reassessment because the people mm. who are, are being killed by the gun are actually minorities. And yeah, absolutely. If you look at all of the statistics on who, who dies by the gun, it's close to like 80% who are 
a, a minority. And yeah. so it's kind of like you have to reassess this. And, you know, who, who do guns actually favor? And who, yeah. you know what I mean? So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's definitely an, an undertone that needs to be changed. Yeah. But I think people stick in. Well, it's been around for two hundred years. Why change it? Well, actually, things need to change. Technology. I give you technology as an example. You know, you wouldn't you wouldn't walk around with a a cup and a bit bit of string and a cup either end to communicate with somebody nowadays because we've got lots of different ways to communicate. Things move on. Things change. You know. But uh, I think some people are just stuck in in what they do. But look. Yeah, it's a, yeah, I think the racial, I think the racial thing is there as well. Oh yeah, absolutely, <laughs> it is mad. But look, how? What are you in the UK for? Are you mediating something that you can't talk about at the moment? Then no. So like, uh, so London is the only place in the world that has a court for mediation and arbitration. So really, yes. So so a lot of businesses do their mediation and arbitration out of London. And uh, do, you get paid, do you get paid really well? Um, well, it depends. It really just depends. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, you know, private mediations, you get paid more. Um, yeah. But it depend, depends because you work for a company, I work for a company. So, yeah. uh, let's say mediation is six six to 12 grand if it's a, you know, a good, wow, decent okay. company. So, do, so, how long are you work for that company then? Uh, so, I, about a year and a half. So, so are, you, are you like, are you like, let's say, Let's say I need it, and, and please don't take this as a derogatory thing. But let's say I need it, I needed an interpreter. Uh, would they call you to go and interpret? Or in this in this instance, let's say right, I need somebody to mediate this meeting. Would that would they then call you in to do that mediation, or do you work on the case from beginning to end? Oh, so yeah. So how the mediation works is that both parties they have their own attorneys, right? The attorney yeah. works the case and. The most, uh, the simplest type of case I can give you a demonstration of is something like personal injury. Like when I first started out, I would do these cases. So basically everyone understands personal injury. The attorney yeah, works the case until the settlement. People don't understand yeah. how do settlements come about? Well, settlement came about through a mediation. So essentially they have a mediator who is a neutral. The mediator does not represent the plaintiff. The mediator does not represent the defendant. And the mediator is there to facilitate the settlement. So how all attorneys usually settle, settle their cases is through mediation. It's just that ah, they don't have a client. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The mediation is just like um, a plea deal, I'm guessing, whereas they, they've done that all behind. Is that the same? You, you rolled your eyes and is that like a similar thing yeah. or no? So the mediation is a settlement conference, a negotiated settlement. Uh, typically, I, I don't want to say a plea deal because typically when people think of plea deals, they think of something that's like unfavorable. So, ah, uh, so okay, for instance, yeah. if you go to court, if you have a, any type of uh, issue, you go to court, um, a, a lot of the times there'll be a court appointed mediator. So yeah. uh, for me, I'm a court appointed mediator, so I'll, I'll be there at, at the court and the judge will sometimes say, go to mediation. Um, sometimes the judge will say, go to mediation for multiple reasons. It could be because the judge knows that if the judge were to take this case to rule, the judge would have to make the ruling on certain circumstances that the judge ah, knows okay. that may be not favorable for that party. So yeah. um, in mediation, it's considered like a holistic process wow, where both, okay, parties, yeah. both parties win. There's not one winner or one loser. Or both parties actually win. So both parties are happy with the outcome at the end of the day. Yes. T I mean, yeah, okay. typically, typically. It's, so in your, in, your, in your humble opinion, and in, uh, I'm going to do lawyer speak now, yeah? It's lawyer <laughs> speak. I've been working on it for years. Your, the way you work is... It's winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's it. Winner, That's winner, exactly winner. right. <laughs> Both get the chicken dinner. Exactly. Is that what, is that what you say at the end of every when you've done the mediation Always. and you do it? You go when you when you walk out. You go winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make that you punch. You're going to make that your punchline now, aren't you? Every it's time you do mediation. <laughs> <laughs> so how long are you in the UK for? Um. So I have two more years on my visa. Um, oh, wow, that's a okay. whole different story because <laughs> the Brexit, I mean, I get it. Some people were in favor of Brexit, but Brexit only made my life harder. Uh, so oh, really? Wow. Yeah. I voted for it. So sorry about you that. You voted for it. So <laughs> yeah. There's a reason why I need to go get an additional visa to go across the street to Italy and wow, pay really? additional healthcare fees and additional fees just because Brexit exists. <laughs> Look, let's I'll tell you what we can do. We can have a little bit of mediation session 
and, and 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 you'll be winning when a chicken dinner, and I'll be winning when a chicken dinner. We'll okay. be fine. It'll be all good. It'll be all good. All right. We'll <laughs> so, so uh, what are you going to Rome for? I know um, you're looking for love, obviously. But... Yeah, I have a project that I am um, working on for six months. So, oh, a pro- like like a, like a case, um, or something different. It. So you don't want to say. You don't have to tell. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Honestly, you don't no. I, 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 I definitely want to tell you something that I couldn't tell you. Um, okay. <laughs> so it's only me, you and me. It's only you and me here. Shh, don't tell you. Yeah, it's between a, a few different nations, so it, oh, it's not okay. easy. One, two, three. So it does take time. Mm-hmm. So can you te- can you talk to me about a case that you've done in the past that was really interesting or really blew your mind without telling me? Which the what the companies were? Sure, yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I use this case uh, quite frequently uh, to give an example. So I uh, was working on ADA cases, which is American Disability Act. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. And, <coughs> yeah. And so basically, these are federal cases, meaning uh, typically they're uh, it's all federal appointed mediators. So I was mediating this case and uh, t- with a large company. That is international. International. Yeah. This company is in like mostly like every country, every country. And um, the plaintiff was suing the defendant, which was you know the big company. And <laughs> the plaintiff was suing because he was in a wheelchair and he couldn't get access to uh, the countertops. The floors were not up to code, and the federal law yeah. allows for a party to sue and get damages yeah. and money. If someone's measurements are not up to code for wow. someone who's disabled, okay, yeah, yeah. So, um, that part of the dispute was undisputable. So the company, I mean, the company's a pretty good company. They agreed. They said yes, we weren't up to code with the tabletops and the flooring. However, in this mediation, the guy in the wheelchair gets out of his wheelchair and he forgets he's in a wheelchair. Yeah. So well, he, uh, it, it's a miracle he can walk. Yeah, he had a miracle in the middle of a mediation. <laughs> so, hang on, what did he get off for? Did somebody throw something and he caught it, or did somebody say, "Oh, can you just pass me that file?" And he said, oh, "I'll get it for you." No, he had to use the bathroom, but he forgot to take his wheelchair. <laughs> 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 so... <laughs> hang on, had he got out of his wheelchair to get in a chair for the meeting, and then he, he, no, he no, should no, have obviously he could... no. He was far enough not to do that. He was in the wheelchair the entire meeting. Cause well, he and he still, got, he still got up out of the wheelchair. He got up to wow. his bathroom out of his wheelchair. And, and did he walk out and then did he just, did he have a little moment where he realized that he was walking? He started walking and we're all just staring at him, but he, he of course, wasn't really, dis- I mean, fully disabled where he can walk. It's just the front. And uh, it took him about a good like thirty seconds because we're all just wondering what he's doing. And yeah. then I and then the, the the defense yells. He's like, "This guy's he's a fraud. He can walk. He's not a wheelchair." And then in that moment, I was like, he fell he fell over, didn't he? He fell over. I bet he fell no, over. No, I had to think really fast. So I said, "Sir, I said I, I know that a lot of disabled people can can have a lot of mobilization." <sighs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, that, yeah. You know, you're, you you probably can stand for a few seconds please sit back down in your wheelchair we just don't want you know you to fall over (laughs) did he not just do this and go oh sorry i didn't remember i forgot (laughs) did he get a payout though did he get a payout though they are so he was suing for about 300 grand but because he walked out of the he At that walked. moment, it, it dropped to like 50 it grand or something. Wow. So I was able to try and, and work out a deal because this big company just wanted the case to be gone. Um, they had uh, C- the CEO and other, the president of the company fly in for this mediation. And so they're like, we can't, we can't wow. like waste any more of our time on this guy. Let's just settle. And we got the working numbers down to a number that I thought was good. I was like, hey, look, this is the number I was able to try to work out, you know, because you, you go in like sidebar meetings in the mediation, yeah. right? I talk to them privately. And I thought, it was, I thought I got them a great number. I'm like, this is the number. Like, I was excited. Like, this is what I got for you. And then the plaintiff was like, 
yes, I'll take it. And then the attorney was like, no. Oh, we're not going to give that. Oh, you're the mediation. The attorney said, no, I see. It. Okay. Wow. But the wheelchair guy, I mean, the, the client said, yes, he wanted to take the deal. But the thing is, when someone's represented by counsel, their counsel has power of attorney over them. I mean, like, like their attorney has more power than they have. So well, I mean, they can say no. Do they? I, I've seen movies where the where the uh, the, like the the actor, lead actor, has gone. No, you're fired. So the, you're saying they can't do that normally. Nobody, he could fire him, but he didn't fire him. So. <laughs> wow. Did he, he, okay. So so okay. So so the the, the plaintiff who is the uh, the the victim, not yeah. really a victim because he could walk. <laughs> yeah, the victim. Uh, they offered a payout. They said, yes, let's take the money, let's take the money, because he obviously realised he messed up anyway. Uh, and then the lawyer said, no, you're not taking that. Did he then get more money after the fact? He called me after, literally. The next day, he's like, hey, do you think you, we can we can strike that deal up again? I said, no, that's not how mediation <laughs> works. It, you take it in the mediation or you don't. And so it was just... So he, so he lost the, he lost the money anyway? He lost the money. I mean, okay, so at the moment when you came in and said, this is the number, before the lawyer got involved, and you said, this is the number, did the guy jump out of his wheelchair and go, yes, we'll take that money? <laughs> did he do that? No. <laughs> no, I'm sure he wanted to. But the thing also with this guy, he was suing over 60 other corporations. Oh, okay, so a serial, a serial what do you call it, S sewer or litigator, I don't know what you call them over there, what do you call them? Uh, yeah, zero plaintiff. So essentially, the defendant, yeah. though, the, the big corporation, they did their homework. They had a team of attorneys. They said this guy flies drones around people's uh, businesses, and the drone has that, like, LED can, like, measure the whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so they said the guy never even stepped foot in their <sighs> business. Oh, but he knew because he had the drone that could measure it what were the issues with the code were because even though he'd never been on site. Wow, that's clever. I like that. Let me just see how much a drone is. Hang on a sec. Let me just see how much a drone is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You're, you're, what's your name? Is it, your name is Reese, yeah? It's Reese, yes. Reese, you are your mind full of amazing knowledge. It's been amazing. I, I, I wish you'd have won my... You know what I'm going to do? I hope you don't mind this because I have a YouTube channel as well. And normally I put, I do, in, I do interviews of TikTokers, interesting TikTokers or TikTokers that have got over 100,000 followers. Now, you don't fit the category of over 100,000 followers. But what we've spoken about tonight has been really interesting. So I might use this little bit of video that we've had a chat with and pop it on my YouTube channel. Is that OK with you? That's fine. If you do, just tag me so I can watch the video. Pat, have you got? Uh, do you have YouTube as well? Or? I don't, but you could just uh, at me. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do. I'll do a little thirty-second clip from this video, and in that in that video, you can go on my bio, and on my bio, my YouTube channels, and then you'll be under the you'll be under the interview section. But look, I, I could talk to you for ages. I mean, you've got loads of loads of knowledge and stuff, haven't you? Really, to be fair. Well, it's great. It was great getting on the chat with you. Um, oh, good. Glad I, you liked it. This is my only form of social media, and I, I know. Really, I know, but I really, um, I do this for fun. You know, I, I'm really not have looking you, for a huge okay. audience. Have yeah. you got any friends? Have you got any friends? In oh yeah, like Tanya is in here. Um, Mika, like I've met them all on TikTok. No, okay, no. I mean, have you actually got any real friends in real life? These are my real friends. <laughs> What? But you don't know them. You've, you've never met us before. You've seen me. You must have seen yeah. the other ladies. But have you got any? I mean, I, I, like you're all alone in London. I mean, it's you should be. London's a massive place. You should be making loads of friends out there. Oh yeah, I have friends. I do have friends. Um, but yeah. So for, as far as social media, I like it short and simple. I, I don't really want a big audience, to be honest. I, I like just tiny. Tiny little audience. And I like, and you see, the thing is, I want a big Thank audience. You, I want a mil, I want, I want a million followers, and I want a, a little blue tick, and I want to be the biggest star on TikTok. Uh, and I will, nightmare. and I will be, and I will be at one point. So I will be. That, that was my worst nightmare. I, it would Why? Be that. I, Why? I just like a small, a little small, cute little like cozy audience where I know people, they know me. Uh, 
This is like I see what I, fi- I do. Fi- I do find that on TikTok. Look, I've done social. I've done social media for years, but TikTok I did about four years ago, and and literally I'll never ever give my number out to people. But I've got about ten people that I've got my number. If they if they've got a problem or they need any advice on any of the social media platforms, then they can just message me, and that's the way it should be anyway. Um, but I, I I've met some amazing people on TikTok and I've now met somebody else that is gonna say, what are you gonna say at the end of at the end of every every case now? Wit winner What a winner chicken dinner. <laughs> winner winner chicken dinner. And then do me a favor, do a little video of you doing that at the end, a little and then you run down the <laughs> run down the hall and you jump up and kick your feet as you walk as you walk down the hall. <laughs> That's why you should change your name. You should change your name to Winner Winner Chicken Dinner. That would be really funny. (laughs) Winner Winner Chicken Dinner. (laughs) Right, Reese, look, have an amazing Monday. You You very smile. Keep smiling. And uh, nice to speak to somebody from LA. From LA. It was great. Los Angeles. Take care. (laughs) I look forward to watching all your videos. (laughs) You'll see them all. Don't worry. Have fun. Bye.